Welcome wonderful people to my channel, it's Tariela, we do it differently. So today we're going to be talking about how to love yourself. Because a lot of you, unfortunately, do not love yourself. And it shows. It needs to be improved on in your life. If you're new here, I do self-development and lifestyle videos. If you're interested, hit the sub for more like comment and subscribe and let's get on to the video how to love yourself these are tips and tricks on how to love yourself sweetheart so my tip number one is to know yourself how do you how do you get to love someone you don't know how does that work so know yourself know your identity so i said in the previous video self-love has to do with knowing your creator and i'm 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 serious you need to know your creator to know yourself. You need to know your maker to know yourself. I'm not talking about your parents, sweetheart. I'm talking about the one and only God. I'm a Christian, so, you know, that's how the advice is gonna go. You have to know your creator. Anything God says about you is facts. Unless you say you don't want to be. It's, about, it's up to you if you claim it or not. But what God says about you is facts, right? So if someone else is telling you X, Y, Z, don't listen to it especially if it contradicts what god says about you in the word of god the bible cool so spend time with god understanding who he is and understand how that affects your identity because you're his child do you get that if your mom say your mom is the queen unfortunately god rest her soul say your parents are kings and queens right you have a higher you know you have a high ranking than someone else you know what i mean not to be like you know but like that's the fact you have a higher ranking than everyone else and so there's a high expectation because your identity is is, is is somewhat made up of your parents so we have a heavenly father in heaven and that's our father so that means we are citizens of heaven so we are children of God. The way we act, the way we move is different to the people of this world. So you need to get to know how to act and how to behave and how to move with God's help, with God's spirit, because you're not doing this by yourself. And then touch into that, key into that, understand who you are in order to love yourself. Number two, obviously, would be to know the basics of yourself. How do you get to know yourself, first of all? How do you get to know like your favorite color your favorite food you have to go out and try things you have to put yourself out there go on dates not with people but yourself do solo dates have fun like you're young or you're you're old whatever have fun enjoy your life go on solo dates this doesn't mean you need to book a solo trip to morocco but it could mean just having a picnic at your local park i've done it before it's okay and read a book or you know i've done it before it's nice it's fun it's refreshing do that get to know yourself enjoy your life and the next one number three is to spend quality time on yourself quality time understanding your emotions and your thoughts you have to love yourself it's practically self-care to love yourself is to understand your emotions and break them down, right? How are you about to break down emotions, break down um, your thoughts and your feelings if you don't even acknowledge your thoughts and your feelings? You need to acknowledge the place you are right now. My fourth point is to journal. Another way to understand your emotions and work through them is by journaling. If you had a traumatic day, go, go and say, Dear Lord, today I had, instead of saying dear diary, because obviously like, you want to be more, you know, up there. You want to say, dear Lord, today I experienced X, Y, Z, and of course God saw everything, he was there with you. But obviously you want to tell him the tea, so you're going to tell him the tea, you know, you don't have to write this down, it could be a prayer even. Exactly, you don't need to do the most with loving yourself, but you need to digest how you feel and digest, understand your position right now to love and improve yourself loving yourself is all about improving yourself and improving yourself can be being content right now but making sure that you realize you can be content right now and still want to improve yourself so improving yourself isn't void of contentment just wanted to clarify that yes so with journaling you want to write your emotions down tell God how you feel and then sit and relax wait and see what God speaks to you what God says and then you can see how oh lord today i had an argument with my mom and it was like xyz xyz lord help my mom to be more patient or help me to 
control my tongue you know these are the things you can do and pray about to help yourself and to love yourself number five is affirmations affirming who you are makes you strong in your identity listen you're constantly in an environment which tells you who they think you are whether that be people in your secondary school in your school in your university sixth form whether that's people in your family toxic members friends friendship groups you have not yet assessed whether they should be your friends or not or whether it's the music you're listening to you're always being told who you are have you noticed that you need to tell yourself who you are you need to say these affirmations i will post or have posted an affirmation a video about your identity number six is appreciating god not to say that you should appreciate god or worship god just by because of the things he can do for you but you can appreciate him and god can bless you so you need to appreciate god loving god is loving yourself do you know that he says you should love love your god with all your heart with all your mind and with all your soul when you love God, you'll be able to love yourself because you acknowledge the truth in your heart. You acknowledge God in your heart. And why is that self-love though? Well, if you think about it, when you respect God, when you walk with God, life becomes a lot easier. You've got people in your life, people you may know of, that don't have God in their heart or don't believe in God, right? So they're living life a bit empty. Whether they admit it or not, they are empty you might be the person i'm referring to you might be empty so i'm con i am suggesting you get to know god right now for yourself and i'm a christian to suggest that but when you appreciate god and you're intentional about god spending time with him your life will become bearable not to say you won't go through trials and temptation because oh boy hmm your temptation is tempting you know but you'll be able to overcome it and your understanding about situations in your life will be a lot bearable a lot better number seven is resting in god's presence so that doesn't mean you should read the bible resting on the sabbath is literally doing nothing so you're literally sitting here you could ask god questions and then when you hear thoughts that are aligned to the word of god because you will be reading the word of god to know his voice when you hear his voice and the voice it doesn't need to be audible it could just be a thought which replies which responds to your question you're resting in God's presence and you're communing with God. You're having a nice chill day with God, like chill, you know what I mean? Have a nice relaxed day, it's relaxing. Number eight, to have self-love is to pursue self-development. Seeking self-development and following people like me, I had to add myself, you know. Anyways, following us will help you build your characteristics in something to something that is integral. You want to have integrity. That is loving yourself, being integral, being confident in your identity, being confident in your characteristics. That even if a rumor was to spark up that, oh, Tariella did X, Y, Z, people around you will realize that that's impossible. You wouldn't even believe it because that's out of her character. You need to build your character. Another way to love yourself is by setting boundaries. Now, setting boundaries means that you need to make sure People in your friendship or relationship or whatever ship know what you will and what you will not tolerate respectfully, of course. And when people don't meet up to those requirements, highlight it to them. You know, sometimes you have to give people chances, right? But when people continuously, keyword, continuously go over, step over that boundary, you have to cut them off. Once you've told, you've given them the warnings, you don't want to listen okay bye that's what you have to do because loving yourself means that you will not place yourself in toxic environments and lastly loving yourself means you need to stop being idle stop wasting your time you have purpose you have potential have you unlocked your potential hmm? how are you going to unlock your potential when every day you spend six hours on your phone just ingesting content ingesting social media why am i talking about myself right now i don't know but you need to work on the your passions you need to work on your passions work on the things that you enjoy doing because 
you cannot be idle in this life you've got things to do sweetheart time is ticking not to not to apply the pressure but to apply the pressure a little bit time is ticking you need to actually pursue your purpose and everyone's purpose is different okay it doesn't have to be something major but as long as you're working towards your purpose that's good and also ask god what your purpose is so you're not working based off what you're feeling or your emotions and thoughts.